Hi there, welcome back. In this video, let's look at the various source code generation options which are present in Eclipse. So, what do I mean by source code generation? Let's just create a variable. I'm creating an int uh, one number field and I'm creating a string field as well. I'm cre creating a field called string name. I mean, these are uh, like ins these are inside a bean. I would want to make them private. So, I'm making them private. Uh, if I want to generate the getters and setters for this, let's say I want to generate the method get number and set number, and the same way get name and set name, uh, Eclipse provides us with easy options. The shortcut is Alt, Shift, and S. So just press Alt, Shift, S, and if you go into the menu, there is something called generate getters and setters. You can also get to this by doing a right click, refactor. And inside that, you would see generate getters and setters. Uh, sorry, re, uh, it would be right click, refactor, source, and then inside that would be generate getters and setters. Or the direct shortcut is Alt Shift S. And if you do generate getters and setters, it would give the option of which methods to generate. So let's say I want to generate get name and set name, and I would want to generate get number and set number. So I can select uh, the methods which I would want to generate. I can select where I would want to put them also. So you can put them at the start or after the variables uh, and also you can sort them also. So I take the default options which are present in there and I would press OK. So you would see that all the methods are directly generated by Eclipse. So this is how you can generate a uh, getters and setters in Eclipse. Next we would look at how to generate a two string method. So let's say I want to generate two string method. So I want to generate the two string method which is usually used to convert uh, any bean to a string so I would uh, the way it is done is the same way which is we have done earlier Alt shift s uh, but you need to select the option generate to string uh, the good thing of about generate to string method in uh, in Eclipse I mean the generate to string option in Eclipse is that it provides you with options so you can either do a string concatenation or you can use a string buffer or you can use chained calls or use string dot format. So there are a number of options which it gives you to generate the two string method. I'll just show you the first two options. So if I use string concatenation and generate the two string method, you can see that it just appends as a string and it would give you the two string method. The other thing you can also notice is the at override is odd added in by default. So that's one way of generating the two string. The other way of generating two string is Alt Shift S. I'm going to the same thing, generate two string. Uh, I, now I would want to choose string builder and string buffer. So if you look at it now, it uses string builder to generate the two string function. So there are a few other options also in two string. You can try them at your free time. And next we would move on to the other option which is present in Eclipse. Similar to toString, you can generate uh, even hash code and equals methods. So I can say generate a hash code for these two and it would generate the hash codes and equals methods for these two things. So if you want, like if you don't have the time to implement a hash code or a equals, probably you can start off with this and you can make the appropriate changes that you would need to make for those two functions. Uh, if you look at the other options which are present in there, you can even generate constructors. So if I want a constructor in this with these two variables, I can say, uh, I can choose which variables I would want in the constructor. And also I can say where I would want to put it. Usually the constructor would be the first one. So I'd put it at the top. So you'd see a constructor is created. It called super and also now I can create the bean by using uh, the constructor passing in a number and a name. Other than this, uh, if you look at the other uh, things which are present in uh, source generation, you'd see uh, like a toggle comment that is alt and the slash. If you press alt slash, it toggles a command and untoggles it. So it, sorry, it toggles comment and untoggles comment. So you could comment the code or uncomment the code. If I do alt shift slash, it would actually use uh, if you do all shift flash it uses block comment there you go 
those are the most important source generation options in Eclipse. This video is part of a series of videos discussing various features in Eclipse, different shortcuts and also tips to improve your productivity. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.